Yo guys, what is up? This is Scammers from New York. Come back to you again with another episode. Today is episode 28, and we're going to be shying away from Discord.py a little bit and moving into the buttons package to show you guys how to create custom emojis for your page in edit sessions, such as our help command. So what we're going to be modifying is our help command. So we're just going to go start this bot up for you guys. And then, you know, we've got our little help command. By default, you've got five buttons. Uh, the one on the far right skips to the end, skips to start. But basically what I'm going to do is I want to have three buttons. I want to have a stop button and then left or right. And I want the left button. So if we're, if we're at page one uh, and we try to go left, it'll go, it'll go to what is our last page, which is this one here. So we're going to stop this. We're going to go into our code and we're just going to make some changes to our subclass pagination uh, context here. So we do need to add something in here called uh, await self dot underscore session uh, underscore task dot cancel. And this is just going to cancel the underlying task and it's something we've forgotten to do in a previous episode. Anyway, basically we're going to need to make a few changes here. So we do need to modify our init here. We could do this. Um, where we call uh, our pagination, uh, you know, function. But for now, I am just going to go ahead and set this up here. So we're going to go super, and then we're going to go init, and we're just going to pass in args. Uh, we're going to pass in args, and then we're also just going to go use underscore defaults is equal to false. So that's going to get rid of those default emojis that we've got set up there. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our own buttons. We're going to go async def stop underscore button. It's going to take self. Uh, it's going to take any arguments. It's also going to take any uh, keyword arguments. And this button is quite literally going to be a stop button. So it's just going to go self dot cancel. Now, how do we hook this into the paginated session? You might wonder. Well, there is a decorator for this called at button. We can import this name from button. And then in here, we're going to give it an emoji. And, well, I want that square emoji. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go take the square. And what square do we want? I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go purple. Now we just need the uh, emoji for that. Unicode, we're going to take that. We're going to go in here and we're going to copy and paste it. Now, we're going to be modifying the position soon as well. But I'll get to that after we add the other two buttons and just show you how it works by default. This button is going to be our next button going to take self it's going to take uh, any args and it's also going to take any keyword arguments and this is basically just going to go ahead and move us to the next page so we need an arrow and i want an arrow going forward because well the page is going to go forward get rid of that and then basically in here there is um so the page you need has uh, a variable called uh underscore index which is just basically our current page. So we're going to increase that by one. And then we're going to go ahead and do something. So basically we increase the page by one. But if we're like out of pages, say we're on the last page and we increase it by one, it's going to be pointing at a page that doesn't exist. So what we need to do is we need to check that if self dot underscore index is bigger than or equal to the length of self dot underscore pages then we know that we've gone too far, which means we just need to set uh, this index here to zero so that we start from the start again. And then all we need to do is go self.page.edit. And then this is just going to take an embed, which is going to be equal to self. And then we have our pages again. And then we're just going to take the page at our given index. And that's going to add the next button for us. And now we just need to make one more button, which is going to be our last underscore button. So we're going to go previous underscore button. Uh, again, we're going to take these arguments. You know, we're going to take any keyword arguments. Um, we're not using them, but just for, you know, uh, the sake of making sure it's all working. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go modifying the index. Uh, we're going to go minus one this time. <laughs> minus plus, not quite. And then we need to do something similar that we need to check that we're not trying to access a page which doesn't exist. But for this, we just check that um, if it's less than zero, because zero is going to be our first page, because, you know, our lists start at one. If so, we're going to set the index to be equal to the length of self.pages. And we're going to set it equal to minus one, 
just because the length of something minus one is going to be the actual index of it because if you got one item in a list uh the length of the list is one uh but the index is actually zero and then we can just go ahead and copy this code here now we just need to decorate this as a button the emoji is going to be the back arrow Now you might be noticing like it looks pretty good um, and I think it's basically ready to show off. Now there is going to be something here that's going to pop up and I just want to point it out which is regarding the position argument. So you, you notice it, it's really weird like we've got all these like emojis here and uh, like that'll go to the next page and like it works right look it's taking us to the correct page but I want to format these buttons nicer right. So the button decorator takes an argument called position. So we're gonna go position is equal to one. Position is equal to two. And position is equal to zero. And that's gonna set it up basically as our like sort of list indexing. So we're gonna start at zero and go left, middle, right. You'll see this in action when I run the help command now. And look at that. It is nicely positioned and that is basically all you need to know. There is also a nice decorator for inverse buttons but personally I think you'd get away with just using this and otherwise that is basically it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed and you'll be able to apply this to all of your bots. This is a pretty basic example. You can do basically anything you want in these, uh, these functions but I just wanted to show you guys how to customize those emojis. Anyway I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.